what I've been doing lately or over the past several years is advocating for China and the United States to work together in space. In 2003, China became only the third nation in the world behind the Soviet Union and the United States able to launch their own astronauts into space. And in 2006, I became the first American invited to the Astronaut Center of China, where I got to meet Yang Liwei, the first Chinese national astronaut, and Fei Junlong, the first commander of their first uh, uh, more than one person mission into space. I also, over the years, have gotten to know several of their space officials, and we are working together to, to build relationships so that when the politics are right, that we might be able to do more together in space. The model that I use is that with Russia. In the middle of 1990s, uh, we started working with uh, the ex-Soviet Union, and I have to admit, at the time, I was a pretty junior astronaut, and I was skeptical. I grew up during the Cold War, and I thought, well, what do we have to learn from these guys? You know, they're backwards, they're not as sophisticated as we are, and all they're going to do is try to steal all our secrets. But of course, that was all propaganda. Once I got to know these people, of course, they're very talented people, uh, very talented in their hardware design, everything that they've done, and, I, and when it really counts, they do it right. And eventually, I came to go ahead and fly with these Russians. And I would say that uh, it became very clear to me that having a very visible space civil program uh, that everyone can see is very important because it at least aligns us in that one project. It makes everyone look bad if the thing fails. And so I make the argument that working together in space and civil space project brings countries close together. It certainly did with us and the Russians. It certainly has with our former World War II enemies and now allies. It certainly has with all of the international partners. In 2009, I was part of a White House appointed committee called the Review of U.S. Human Spaceflight Plans Committee. And under the leadership of Norman Augustine, very esteemed uh, leader in aerospace in the United States, we worked together to develop option paths for the then new administration to form the basis of a new space policy. One of the key findings was that the most important thing that came out of this International Space Station program was this international framework that has worked so well and has furthered, in a bigger picture, the larger goals of our country, of the United States. And so we advocated expanding this leadership, this uh, uh, international framework, to include countries. We couldn't specifically name China. The White House told us not to do that. But we, were, we really advocated expanding this so that we could better relationships with other countries. And I think the time is right to work with China, who is now planning their own space station starting in 2018, and that we can start to work together, have astronaut exchanges, and again, having been aligned in a very visible civil space program to help better relationships between our two countries. Now, you might look at Russia today and say, well, gosh, relationships between Russia and the United States aren't very good today because of the crisis in the Ukraine. But I would, I would say that they would be a whole lot worse if we were working on this, this International Space Station together. So I'd like to thank everyone from the China Institute for this great honor. I'd like to thank you for all the hard work that you do. Um, and we're all pulling together to try to better relations with between China and the United States. I'd like to thank my lovely wife, Karen, here, who's wearing a picture that I shot from space from Xinhai Bu. So if you can't come up and take a look at it. Right. Stand up and show them. And if you look just beyond the Gobi, a little bit north, You'll, in the Gobi, you'll see the, uh, the launch site at Tuchen, which is where uh, all China space missions uh, include, uh, that involve astronauts are launched from. And uh, that was a very special shot that I took from space uh, a little over 10 years ago. So that, I'd like to thank you all very much for this great honor and wish you all a very good evening. Thank you.